Hello, my warriors. Welcome to the Sunday dinner show and visitors. Today, we're going to have chicken and shrimp alfredo. That's what I decided to cook. That's what I got taste for. So let me show you what I'm working with. Okay, we're going to use this. Okay. And we're using this. Two of these. Okay. You see the grease is going. So what I'm going to do is go ahead. This is the chicken all seasoned up. This is the shrimps. Just a tad bit of season, not much. I'm going to cook them separately, and then I'm going to mix them together. So let me go ahead. You see that grease is going, so let me go ahead and do what I do what I do what I do. Okay, now we're going to talk about the chicken, but I'm going to turn it down to about a five. Okay. So, what I first did was... I had two big pieces of chicken breast. I slid them down the middle of both and I cut them into small pieces as you see there. I soaked them in water and vinegar for anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour. Sometimes you can't really do it that length of time because maybe you come home from work trying to throw everything together, whatever, whatever. But, you know, just make sure you clean that chicken, okay? And then the season that I did use for the chicken, as usual, you know, we use this adobo. Then next, I put a little bit of this smoky mesquite. But you know, I got to set it off with the kicking chicken. And the lemon pepper fell on the floor, so I'm not about to pick that up. And we have the ginger. Just a little bit of ginger. I like to put ginger in a lot of stuff. Because you know what? These days, we need all the ginger we can get from all this mess going on. Now back here, I really didn't tell you, but I had been turned this on a few minutes ago. Got it on high. I have some water. I did about a half. Maybe a little less than a half. If I have to add, I'll add. But I put some um, oil in there and I put water and a little bit of salt. All the time I use salt, is when I'm cooking rice, grits, and noodles. Anything else? I don't use no salt. Oh, no. No, thank you. So what I'm going to do is flip these. This one is a big one, so got to be careful. What I want them to do is, like, when I cook them, I want them to be to the point that, you know, they kind of like melt in your mouth. You know, they're easy to chew, very, you know, soft. Yeah. Well, I wanted to say, uh, I did see that Cicely Tyson um, is no longer with us. And it was really, really crazy. Because someone sent me a picture of this lady from church. And I think she had been to Canada or she's from Canada. I really, really don't know. And it's so weird that I remember this because there was a game we used to play at AYS. And if you ask me what that means, I can't remember. I know it's... I think it's... Adventist Young and the S I, I can't Sabbath I don't know I can't remember but they changed it years later so I can't remember what that was because I had slowed down I would go to you know 11 o'clock service um but but as far as night service I really didn't do it was mostly for the young young kids I have been going so much all my life. So, but now that we in this C-19, I don't remember when the last time I went to church. I couldn't even tell you. Um, I really don't remember. I think I went to church 
maybe around this year last time. That's how crazy it is. So I like to kind of like try to break it and just look at what the inside. So this may need a little more time. No, well, let me see. Yeah, this may need more time for me because I did turn it to low. And you see it's getting ready to bubble over there. So I'm about to put those noodles in there. But you just, to me, just keep flipping this. But I'm going to go back. I'm sorry I'm all over the place. But the lady just meant so much to me because if I look at Cicely Tyson, you know how, she, you know, from what she was in movies about, this lady is, you know, something in that perspective where she she's, was very sweet. If I'm not mistaken, I can't remember her first name. But I know her last name was Sister Mosley. We call her Sister Mosley. And I really liked her style. She was like an older woman who had class. Lots of class. Not saying a lot of people don't, but I'm just saying she one that stood out to me. She reminded me of Sister Rivers, which I know you don't know these people. But some people may hear it and say, I know who she talk about. Sister Rivers was our, uh, what you call it? uh organ she was our organ player she played piano too and i just loved her so much she was like she was a new york girl class you know what i'm saying she just had it going on and for her to be an older woman i just loved her to death and reality she taught me how to sing alto i was a soprano singer for a long time just like i'm hearing everybody saying this deborah song i'm like oh my god i can't get up there anymore because I remember I had just told my boyfriend, you know, we had a little disagreement years and years ago. And I was mad at him. He was mad at me. So I kept listening to a lot of love songs. Because, you know, when you and a person call yourself taking a little break, you know, you start listening to music. And then you start thinking about that person. And, you know, hey, I need to get back with my man. And that was one of the songs I just kept listening to over and over and over again. It was nothing but love songs. But they will come on my um, YouTube where I'll just put a song on there. Then it pops up. So, it was cool though. You know. And I said, I'm going to practice that song. I'm going to do like the other kind. I say, these little bucks. They, you know, I call them little bucks. Little children. Um, maybe like 13. Somewhere up in there. Up. You know, they can handle this song. Why can't I? <laughs> Come on now. I got a little something, something I can do. So, I said, I'm going to practice that song. I'm going to see if I can do it. I might bring it to y'all one day. You know, doing my Sunday dinner show. Or I might do it to something else. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. So, hold on. Let me put that new city in. Alright, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and... um take these out oh, I know that's gonna fall please hold on <laughs> take this out and nobody but me and my man is eating this okay cuz people say oh her nail touched it and my nails clean baby because I can show you how I clean my nails often very often and I had gloves on when I was doing everything else so Trust and believe, girlfriend is not gonna make nobody sick. I've been doing, I've been wearing nails for twenty some years, and we still alive, okay? Still alive. Cause I clean under mine. I was cleaning it last night. Just like I, I tell a lot of people, the best way to do your nails. Um, I know there was a, I don't know if it's Marie or Maria Lopez. It's one of those names. But let me put the other chicken in real quick and I'm explain to you what this young lady does. All right. I don't remember where I was with the situation, but unfortunately we lost a really good loved one, um, which is a member of my church. And it's just sad how we're losing people. So my thing is get in touch with people you haven't talked to. Let them know you love them, miss them. And, you know, just pray for everybody because I pray every day. Sometimes my prayer is not really long, but sometimes I'll be trying to get the prayer where I need to be. I'll just say I pray for everybody that I normally pay for. 
and then you can add whoever else you want to but right now i'm gonna flip these over i had it on, i still got it on high let me turn it down some because i had put it back on high when i put the new set in and now i turned it back down to five i'm gonna flip them <clears throat> look over here we have it going 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 so let me get it going okay 